right, this is the street here, back to a brand new video. Hopefully this is working. Uh, we are here, probably with something a bit surprising. This is Warhammer 40,000 Bolt Gun. It's like a brand new pixel 2D game. Um, some quick updates before we begin. Uh, some things I have planned. Uh, Diablo 4 new season is coming soon in October. So I'm assuming I'm going to be playing that again with some homies from work. Uh, I planned on doing a Pokemon Platinum run. Uh, for some reason I just got the feeling to want to play Pokemon again, so I thought instead of continuing our Pokemon White 2 playthrough, I decided why not take it back to Pokemon Platinum, which was my very first Pokemon game I ever played. And it's my favorite generation, my favorite region, my favorite Pokemon, favorite everything. Uh, so I was playing through that, and I, was I think I had about four or five videos recorded and then I stumbled upon this this ROM hack called uh, Rogue Platinum. I, f I forget the exact term, but it's a Pokemon ROM hack, which also comes with a follower sprite. So as you know, in Heart Gold, Soul Silver Pokemon games, uh, the generation directly after Sinnoh is the leading Pokemon in your party would follow you around. So like if you, once you got your first starter Pokemon, it would follow you around the whole map. And so I thought, why is it not a feature that's not in every single game? And so they did a ROM hack where they add the sprite stuff into Platinum. And so I'm going to delete all those videos and start again with this ROM hack. Because uh, I think that would just be really cool to have Turtwig follow us around the whole time. Uh, so those videos were not going to be uploaded. Sure, I could upload those like a couple weeks, maybe even a month ago now. Uh, another big news is I also bought a Xbox One, sorry, Xbox Series X. Um, got it last Thursday for I think $200 off market price. I did get a pre-owned, and it's had a few issues. Uh, the Blu-ray player wouldn't download for like an hour, which I looked online apparently is a common issue with the Xbox One. Sorry, the Xbox Series X. I'm going to keep doing that. But Xbox, Microsoft refuses to fix it. I've also had some issues with disconnecting to the internet over and over again. But I will say that when I am playing games, it is very crisp. I love the controller. I feel like there's not a delay. Like on the old Xbox One S controller I had, I feel like there was a lot of delay when I was playing games. And so now that I have less delay, I like I'm playing even better. I love the grip. The grip on the controller, better graphics, uh, less, way less lag. So hopefully these issues won't persist. Uh, the main reason why getting the Xbox Series X was I wanted to play NCAA Football 25. As you know, that's coming out in a month. Uh, next month, July the 16th. I'm going to pre-order that. As you know, I'm a big fan of NCAA Football 14. I used to play it all the time back in the day. My PlayStation 3 through the Texas Dynasty. And, of course, it was taken down because of lawsuits, because some dickheads back in the day wanted to get paid. You can blame those dudes for ruining NCAA Football, and all we were stuck with was Madden. And I was all Madden is probably the worst sports game ever. I mean, Madden's absolutely garbage because there's no competitor, so they don't have to they don't give a shit about making the game good. Tell my son those are 2K. 2K is also garbage. Like, if you buy Madden and 2K every year, you're kind of an idiot and a loser. But irregardless, NCAA Football 25 is coming out, and the hype is absolutely real. I am still a bit skeptical about some things, and I know I know it's not going to be exactly what everyone envisioned. They promise it's not built off the Madden engine, because we all know the Madden engine sucks. So hopefully it won't be a huge disappointment, but either way, I'm going to play it. I can't wait for it. I'm definitely going to do a couple series on there. Uh, probably going to do... If you ever watched Blue Mountain State, I had a buddy, Brian. I uh, used to work with me. He's a big football fan. And this TV series, I watched it with him, and it was on Netflix, so I binged it a couple of weeks ago. And I thought, what would be cool is to use a team builder and create Blue Mountain State, and then create a dynasty with it. Also, probably will do a Texas dynasty. Stuff like that. It's going to be really, really fun. So stay tuned for those videos coming up very, very soon. Uh... Also planning on doing a series. Uh, I got uh, Ultimate Game Pass. So I've got EA Play, Go Pass, whatever. I got all these free games, essentially. And uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, which is the second edition of Jedi Fallen Order. Got that downloaded. So we'll be playing that soon. Probably doing a series. But I saw this. I'm a big Warhammer fan. Well, I'm not really a big Warhammer fan. I've only recently got into it just a little bit. Um, uh, so I'm really excited for Space Marine 2 is going to come out, I think, this year. And I'm definitely going to play through that. But I thought, why not also build up hype for the new Warhammer game by playing Warhammer Bolt Gun. It was only like one gigabyte of data. Uh, which is a very small game, obviously, because it's a pixelated game. So it doesn't need a lot of space on it. Like, for instance, 
Jedi uh, Survivor is 136 gigabytes, which is absolutely ridiculous that it's that big. Like, it's a known fact that uh, game companies are like putting in a bunch of filler to make the games bigger, so you don't have to, so you can't get as many games. System, like we all know, that's bullshit. That it doesn't need 136 gigabytes. Um, but anyways. Let's start a new game. I've never played this game. We're gonna start with low. And uh kinda figure it out as we go. Nothing once touched by the hand of chaos remains untainted. You are under the dominion of the Ordo Malleus to assist my investigations into a world that has already felt that bell's influence. Briar has been under the close watch of the Inquisition since the Grim Skull War. The Forge world remains largely secure, but we have picked up concerning energy readings in the surrounding system. I have my suspicions, although we have not had oh, sufficient cool. time to pinpoint... I think it's a good shot. I like that right there, that's really cool. While most of the planet remains unaffected, it is my belief that rogue elements within the Adeptus Mechanicus may have been experimenting with a surviving fragment of Inquisitor Drogon's power source. Your mission is to assist me in locating a fragment of the power source. While I consider this threat extremely serious, your superiors have seen fit to second only a handful of you to my supervision. In the absence of a larger force, we should pray to the Emperor that this does not develop into a more dire situation. This servo skull will guide you. In Commodus here is one of the few sanctified and preserved from the purging of Drogon's heretical archives. Together, you will search sites where communication has become sporadic. Should you encounter any opposition, you may assume they have been tainted by the ruinous powers. Suffer not the heretic to live. While I continue my investigations aboard the Crown, you will be deployed to a habitation zone we lost contact with several cycles ago. You should assume the situation to be extremely hostile. That's good to me. Beware. In we do basic not know space how marine far the format. Of the arch enemy spreads. <laughs> this is really refreshing to see all the pixel art. Oh shit, here we are. Oh, look at this. Oh, our homies are dead. We're the only one that survived. Hey there, bud. Kinda of sad that really one of our squad that survived there. Alright, you're taking too long. I'm just gonna start go I'm gonna start. Who are you? Dickhead. Jesus. That was a bit brutal. Can I get a gun or something?
Ah, it's a health pack. Okay. I love how it shakes when we jump because we're just so weird. Okay, so I go this way. Got it. Get more, like, look at all this ammo that I can't get. Hold up. Is there a way if I come here? Manage stream. Okay, cool. Alright, I just switched my overlay real quick because it was in the way. Do I just go down here? Are you sure? Fuck it. That was sick, Lucky. I feel like I probably didn't need the gun. Realize holy weapon. What in the fuck? up something. Not quite sure what it was, but I feel like that was a bit too easy, don't you think? 
Probably up the ante. Okay, but like, what way? What's this? It's not that way. Here we go. Chaos Space Marine, holy shit. A heretic.
way. Okay. Can I jump on people and kill them? Oh, so I gotta tap it. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. So tapping it keeps it going. Roger. Oh my god. It's a secret. I get up there, you know, we're gonna try it. I don't give a shit if I die.
Yeah, I can, because see, look, here's the thing. It wants me to go this way. This game's pretty sick. I like it a lot. What's that? Plague Toad. Oh shit. Does that mean we get the... God, the accuracy on this gun is insane. Oh. Oh, grenade me. 
I'm not reading this guy's text at all. I'm just playing the game, bro. Is there a way to save the game there? Vulnerability, infinite ammo. Oh. <laughs> That'd be easy. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna up the ante a little bit here because that was a bit too easy. Copy. Right, they're gonna they're gonna come for me now for sure. a shotgun holy shit I can switch between guns that's sick I like that
that's a secret, okay. The grenade is practically a one, one, one kill on everything. 